What's up everybody? My name's CJ Faison. First and foremost, welcome to my channel. If you are new here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button for me. Guys and girls, I do love each and every one of you so much. We are 132,000 subscribers strong now, but without any further ado, I'm going to jump right into today's video. What this is about is about shadow figures, okay? Now, ghost hunting is a very popular thing on YouTube that it's very widespread now, abandoned and haunted places, people want to explore in it. It's a lot of cool and fun different areas that you can, you know, kind of dabble in within the YouTube community, I should say. So, so for me personally, what I try and do is stick with some of the haunted and the abandoned stuff. I enjoy it, it's an adrenaline rush, you just never know like what's gonna happen next. But the biggest thing that I run into is that I'm not experienced in this. Not really experienced at all, actually. Like, I'm not I'm not some expert who's had 30 years of ghost hunting. I really don't. I'm like in year like 1.25 uh, of ghost hunting and adventuring and stuff. So, um, you know, with, with, with all of that being said, I really want to jump into this one video that we filmed. The title to this video is Ghost Appeared at the Haunted Honeycut Farm. And when I say ghost appeared in the video, that's literally what happened. A ghost did appear in this video. Now, I've never really captured like an actual figure. I've seen like some shadow figures before in my videos, but nothing this clear, nothing this distinct, nothing this crazy and just like so perfectly outlined and it's a literal shadow figure. So. Um, I've watched this video four or five times uh, just in the past three or four days. I don't know why, but I, I'm like trying to pick up on other things. That's why I rely so heavily on each and every one of you to look at my videos and say, hey, um, this happened at this timestamp. And, and that's actually my chair that keeps making that noise, in case y'all wondering. Um, so it's a brand new chair too, I don't know why it's squeaking. The story about the haunted Honeycut farm. At first I didn't know the actual name of the farm, and then I finally did some digging, some research, found it. It was the Haunted Honeycut Farm. It wasn't called that. It's called the Honeycut Family Farm is what it was called. So this place was, this place has been out of commission for like almost 30 years at least. It's probably longer than that. This place is very run down. It's very sketchy. There's nails and boards sticking out everywhere. If you know where this location is, I don't recommend going to it whatsoever. Um, we always have to travel a good ways to get here and getting to this location is more of a pain than anything for us. There's a lot of walking in woods and it was snowing at this time of the year when we did film this video. I'm gonna basically jump kind of right into things here. So, as you can see, um, we were, you know, we're exploring around around um, the outside of the barn. And my biggest thing is all these tires and, and the nails and the boards that are sticking up, that's extremely dangerous, obviously. And, you know, I don't wanna necessarily step on something, especially when we're this far deep into the woods and out of, you know, the way of society, pretty much. So um, actually it was um, Omar, his girlfriend Tiffany, and myself. And um, just the whole time there was a lot of crazy things that happened and I can't explain it. And I, I kind of want you all to explain this for me. I want, I want your all's opinion on what exactly you think happened in this video. Here in a few seconds I'm gonna roll the video um, and I'm gonna show you about a six minute clip and then I'm gonna pause and then we'll recap on what happened in that one six minute clip there. The animal prints back here. Like what is going on back here? Is this like the animal hangout? Look at that fire extinguisher. Oh, that wow. fire extinguisher was here last time, remember? Yeah, it was. Look at that. Oh! Oh my gosh. Yeah. I think that thing still works. I don't know, let's see. Nope. <laughs> you know how to wake up spirits? Oh, Lord. <laughs> the fire extinguisher. Uh oh. Oh! That made a creepy sound. I'm pretty sure you woke whatever's up in there for sure. Okay. Including all the animals. All right, so, Omar, I'm not gonna lie. That probably made me just nervous, honestly. Let's go, man. Look, whatever that animal was, it was up in here, too. Yeah, he was having playtime up in here. Like, seriously, there's so many animal prints, I don't get it. Yeah, careful on nails. So, I'm not exactly sure, but from what I understand, this caught on fire because somebody's trying to pull a ritual. So, I don't know exactly how true that is, but that's at least the story. Yeah. That's at least the story that's told. So, Me? At least two or three months ago now. Okay. 
It actually, it might even have been longer than that, to be honest with you. Last time I was here with CJ, it was almost, it probably was a year. Right? It, at least, yeah. I'd say it's a year. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What is this? Look at this. This looks like, I thought it was like barbed wire on a stick. It's like a miniature. That's a weapon, bro. Yeah, that's what I mean. Like, that's a serious weapon. It's like metal. Like, that's metal is what that barbed is. barbed wire on a stick. Yeah. Like what you would, I guess, beat somebody with? I don't know. Like a, something like it was literally, it was sitting, like? it was like sitting right there. Bro, Man, that is creepy looking right like there. Somebody was doing some weird bondage stuff here. <laughs> like, I mean, <laughs> this would be a great place to hang from. Yeah. All right, so it's time to split up, dude. All right. Yeah, it's completely dark back there, guys. Like, I don't know what exactly that would be for, but like, that's like what the guy was tied up to, but it was like way out there. Man, see, every time we come here, guys, I just find more and more stuff. Like, look at all of this. Like, this is ridiculous, the amount of trash. That somebody has left back here. Like, look at this. This is like an old trailer door or something like that. As you can see, there's like a broken window. And here's the stadium seats. Guys, if you think that these are stadium seats, comment below right now and let me know. <clears throat> and one big thing that I really want you all to do is comment below if you hear anything in the background of these videos. If you see anything in the background. What was that? I don't know. I think I thought it on video too. I literally I peed myself. Oh my gosh, dude. I think I said, it was a, I think I it was a rabbit. His couch and was like, what if there was somebody sleeping under here? Oh my gosh. <laughs> literally, you all scared me so bad. I'm so glad that was an animal. I seen it running too. I think I got that on video. It made noise. I'm sorry. What was it? What did it look like? I don't know. It, it, <clears throat> it went running. My. You don't want to see? No. Wait. Hang on. I'm coming over. I want to see what you all. Oh, you lifted the couch. Wow. He was sleeping under here and went like that, and then all of a sudden this thing just like ran. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie, you all literally scared me so bad. I had a whole heart attack. Look, there's another couch right here. Like, that's one couch, and this is another one right here. <sighs> well, I'm awake. Hang on, hang on. Do you need a cushion to sit on later? I mean, I got one if you need it. I mean, no. You sure? You good? Okay. Look, there's another couch. Dude, these TVs have like... The oh, man, they're, they're retro for sure. <laughs> Jeez, I don't even know what that is. It's concrete or something. Oh man, there's glass everywhere. What is this? Oh, that's not him. Not with it. There's that record player that I love so much. Hey, Omar, there's a record player over here. And if this thing started playing music, how scared would you be? Huh? I freak out. I would too. I would dance. The last time I was here, I was thinking about that song from Insidious. Oh, was it? Tiptoe through the garden or whatever. <laughs> through the window. Through the window. <laughs> oh my gosh. Please do not play that movie right now, man. I would die. <sighs> Okay, so in this next series of clips, you're going to see a shadow figure, and this shadow figure still haunts me to this day, mentally. As I'm watching it here on the video, I don't really know how to explain it. I want you all to make sure, comment below if you do see this shadow figure, and then comment below what exactly you think the rest of this stuff happening in this video 
is. So again, I don't know a whole lot about the paranormal life and all of this kind of crazy stuff. I really don't. But what I really want you all to understand is like, again, I, I did upload this video before. You can watch the full video. The link is going to be in the description for you. You can go check that out right now. But as of right now, I just, it still baffles me. Like I still just can't really like wrap my head around it and comprehend it. Every time that we've gone to this place, I think I've been here four times now. It's everything is, is there's always something different, always something like moved around from video to video. And it's just a little weird to me to think that, you know, there's other people back there. There's really no signs of like people back there except for that chair that one time. And it did look like, honestly, someone was tortured in that chair. So it's really weird, really creepy, but I just, I, I just struggle with this shadow figure. Like you all see a lot of this stuff in my videos. Go ahead and roll the clip and you tell me what you think. <clears throat> oh my gosh. Are, are y'all coming in with me or no? Instant backfire. Yep. Dude, do you feel that? It's like heavy to breathe. Well, CJ has a flashlight. I I have it all for you. What the fuck was that? Is there any animals in here? I mean, you just saw an animal, right? Yeah. Maybe it was just an animal, dude. I don't know. I'm, I'm hoping like hell that was an animal. It was just an animal, dude. I don't know. As you saw, the shadow figure runs by the screen. It's not like it walks by. It literally looks like a figure and it runs by the screen. So creepy. It's so weird. It's, again, I don't know how to really explain that. And, you know, maybe I did just catch something kind of off the wall and crazy. I don't know. Um, that's where I really rely on you all to, to really just tell me what's in the background of my videos. Because all I really do is when I get done filming, turn the camera off, put it in my book bag, bring it here, put my SD card in the computer here, download the footage onto my laptop, or my, my laptop, that made no sense. Download it, put it in a folder, and then all I do is I just put all the clips together and bam. There we go. Got a video. I don't pay attention to anything in the background of the videos. Um, I'm more of an adrenaline junkie than a ghost hunter. I uh, used to be so skeptical about this stuff. And as you saw in that clip as well, in that previous clip, palette that falls out of the ceiling. And then everyone here on YouTube is always saying like there's negative energy, like the spirits can draw energy from your batteries and the cameras and all this kind of stuff and the lights. And it truly does happen. It's happened to me multiple times. And it happens here way more often than it has anywhere else. So Waverly Hills Sanatorium, actually, um, I was filming there uh, last year and that happened to me as well. Batteries were dying like super quick there. I don't know why, but it just seems like some places the batteries die quicker than others and then you know some places I go and I can film for two hours straight with my light on and have no problems whatsoever so I'm very punctual about you know keeping my light charged up and all that stuff and um, just doesn't really make a whole lot of sense of, of, of why why the lights died at this point in time it's like something was drawing us to say like hey I'm here like I'm gonna haunt you forever type thing and that's one of my biggest fears with um, paranormal investigating is I don't have enough experience to know is something gonna come home with me how do you prevent something from coming home with me so I literally I I run that risk every single time that I go out into these places and film like I'm looking at this video footage right here and it just it's running right here in the background and I'm just kind of amazed like some of the places that we actually get to go and explore and see I don't know I want your all's opinion though I want you all to comment below for me if you don't mind I would greatly appreciate your forethought and insight on what exactly that is like what what do you think this means was it a spirit that drew the energy out of both of our light was it a spirit that threw the pallet pretty much out of the ceiling was it an animal that walked across it it and lost its balance I don't know and then the shadow figure all of this to me kind of points and leads towards ghost activity and again there's so many skeptical people out there and, and trust me I was one of them at the one point in time when I go out here and explore these places I mean like again I'm looking at like some of the footage here like this is just kind of crazy to like see this place it's just like so run down and ancient looking pretty much I mean this place hasn't been occupied for years but I was a skeptic at one point in time and then I actually started going and doing this it's it's it creeps me out, I really do. And sometimes I can't even get a full night's sleep. Uh, sometimes I can't even get really get like a full night's sleep because it's just like, after you get done filming at one of these places, you come back and it's just like, oh, you think about, like you think about what just happened, if something crazy happened. And, and a lot of the times there's so much, there's so many places that we film that literally nothing happens whatsoever. So I scrapped that video.
it is what it is. There's literally no good content or action-packed type video that I can put together. So at the end of the day, I scrap the video and move on to the next location. That's why whenever we go somewhere, kind of giving you all like a little bit of a back, back in, behind the scenes type look at like what we do. But whenever I go and explore, I will not go to a location unless there's two or three other locations that we can film at in case this one fails or we can't get in this one or it's just too much of a risk or whatever. You gotta have a backup plan because we'll drive 8, 10, 12 hours to get some of these locations for you all. That's the stuff you all don't get to see. Um, and if you guys want me to do some road trip vlogs like when we're on our way to some of these places, definitely let me know. Comment below right now. Tell me that you want some road trip vlogs. I try to go and like all the comments that you all uh, you know give me on these videos. Yeah, I'm gonna get leave the full video link in the description for this video that you all were just watching the clips of it. And uh, watch it from front to back. And uh, see if you pick up on anything else that I might have missed or you know that you might have missed the first time if you haven't watched it already I definitely you know would recommend you go watch the full video and um, yeah just comment below let me know what you all think and definitely hit that subscribe button give me a thumbs up if you're digging the vids I love you guys and girls so much we are now at 132,000 subscribers it's all because of you all awesome people here on YouTube love you all so much and I'll see you all next time